All right, so I'm going to show you how to get a contact player in studio. So a couple things you got to remember is to make sure you go to the little wheel here. Have plugins like enabled, scanned, you already installed the contact player. So once you have that done, you're going to have to go down here to the left. Go to plugins. I made a folder called favorite plugin so you can put it in there or make a crate. But go to all, go to contact, or type contact. Since I'm using the Mac, um, I'll use the audio unit version, but you can use the VST as well. Click on it, drag it into the empty section here. You're going to get the window that pops up. So then from there, I'm going to pick this instrument here. Click on that, double click. Should be able to hear it. If you need more real estate on this, you could change the window size. I'm trying to remember on this one. There we go. You can change it like that. This little square right here. So now you have some space to see what's going on. Now I have a little drum loop playing here. Go back to contact. I'm ready to record. I'll just do a little chord right now. And then that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, if you're trying to do any automation of the piano, then you'd have to click on the robot, go to contact. This is where it's a kind of a bit of a pain because it's just numbers, but I think eventually they'll get that situated with an update to MIDI map stuff. But to answer your question, go to the plugins section here, go to all, search for contact, drag it in. And if you need to see it or close it, hit the little eyeball icon right here. And that's it. And you can pick, you know, different sounds from what you have in that pack. I only have that specific sound for that piano pack. But then you can load another, like say, for example, I'll load another instance of contact and bring in a bass. Let me fix that. There we go. I'll bring this Scarby bass. There we go. Let's load this up here. And then play the bass. And that's it. Hopefully that helps.